I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the box elder. Acer nagundo is one of the most widespread of the maples. It is the only maple with compound leaves. The maple family is comprised of two genera, and the Acer genus includes approximately 200 species, mostly found in the northern hemisphere. There are 13 maples native to the United States, with seven found in Kentucky. Box elder is also known as ash leaf maple and box elder maple. This deciduous tree is fast growing and short lived, typically living 75 to 100 years. It is a medium sized tree that can grow 60 feet tall. It typically has poor growth form with multiple trunks and numerous sprouts along the trunk. It is considered weed like by some, but it is of moderate importance to wildlife for food and cover. The leaves of this tree can be confused with poison ivy. Box elder is found from Canada and south to Texas with populations in Central America. It is found in almost all counties in Kentucky. This tree is typically found in riparian inland wetland communities, and its best development is in the bottomlands of the lower Ohio and Mississippi River valleys. However, it is tolerant of a variety of soils and moisture regimes, and because of this tolerance, it has been widely planted in the Great Plains as a windbreak. In disturbed areas, it can be an aggressive pioneer tree, and stump and root sprouts are common from young, vigorous trees. Box elder is classified as shade tolerant, but is less so than other soft maples. Box elder is a deciduous tree with oppositely arranged compound leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are pinnately compound with three to five leaflets, sometimes seven, and they're about two to four inches long. The leaflet margins are coarsely serrated and sometimes lobed. The shape of the leaflets often resemble the classic maple leaf. They are light green above and paler below, and fall color isn't showy and the leaves just turn a dull yellow and drop off. This species is dioecious, meaning two houses, so there are male trees and female trees. The male flowers are in yellow-green drooping racemes with light brown stamens, and they kind of look like uh, wispy tassels. The female flowers are more reddish-green and also hang in drooping racemes. The flowers bloom with or just before the leaves emerge, and the flowers are wind-pollinated. The fruit is a pair of samaras that are typically V-shaped with slightly divergent wings. They are one to one and a half inches long and are in drooping clusters. When they ripen in the fall, they are light brown. Samaras can persist through the winter, and trees begin seed production as early as eight years, and trees generally produce seed every year. Seeds are wind dispersed from autumn through the following spring. The bark is thin, light brown to gray, with shallow interlacing ridges on mature trees. On the younger trees, the bark appears green, turning light brown to gray, often with a warty appearance. The wood is soft with straight, close grain. Growth rings are usually faint and non-distinct. The wood is rated as having poor durability to perishable, and the wood's overall strength is low. The sapwood tends to be pale white, sometimes yellowish, and the heartwood is grayish to yellow-brown, and it frequently has red or pink streaks. The red staining is thought to be caused by a compound the tree produces for self-defense when wounded. Wood with this coloration is often called flame. Box elder is of, moderately, of moderate importance to wildlife. Many species of birds, such as evening grosbeak, as well as small mammals, such as squirrels, feed on the seeds. The foliage of the young shoots are browsed by mule and white-tailed deer. Box elder, as well as other maples, support the imperial moth larva. The box elder bug lays its eggs on all maples and clusters in the bark, but it seems to prefer box elder. These bugs are eaten by a variety of small rodents and mammals. It also provides cover for wildlife, which can be important, especially in the Great Plains, where there is seldom quality wildlife cover. This tree may be toxic to livestock. Since the wood is light, soft, and has low strength, it is not a desirable timber species. The wood is used locally for boxes, rough construction, and pallets and crates. The heartwood is often used for woodware because of its uniqueness of that flame color. Its fibrous root system and its prolific seeding habit make it desirable for use in erosion control in some parts of the world. 
It has also been used as shelter belts in the Great Plains. The sap can be used for the production of maple syrup, although the sugar content is typically lower in box elder sap than sugar maple sap. The national champion box elder, as of 2021, is in Frederick County, Maryland. It's 222 inches in circumference, 69 feet tall, with an 83-foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion box elder is in Letcher County. It is 152 inches in circumference, 55 feet tall, with a 52-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about national champions, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about box elder. Box elder is also called ash leaf maple because the leaves resemble the leaves of an ash tree. Native Americans use the cambium for food and boil down the sap for syrup and candy. Box elder was first cultivated in 1688 and there are several cultivars and varieties available commercially. The scientific genus name Acer is from the Latin acro, which means sharp in reference to the leaf shape, or it can be from the Celtic ach, which means hard in reference to maple wood. And the species name Nugundo is a Latinized form of the Malayan name for Vitex Nugundo, or Chinese chase tree, because the two species have similar looking leaves. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodlands, a local park or neighborhood, and enjoy the beautiful local trees, including box elder.